good morning children welcome to online classes that was conducted by lyal english medium school i am mr vijay kiran babu working as a mathematics teacher in lyal english medium school today we are going to discuss about chapter 4 that is linear equations in two variables so until uh, yesterday we might have discussed about uh, first three chapters from maths paper 1 that is first chapter is real numbers second one is sets and third chapter is polynomials today we are going to discuss about uh, the fourth chapter linear equations in two variables let us see the introduction about uh, linear equation so chapter 4 linear equations in two variables at first we are not going to discuss about uh, linear equations in uh, two variables so we are not going to discuss about a pair of linear equations at first we are going to discuss about uh, what is a linear equation let us see general form of linear equation in two variables is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 here a and b are the coefficients of x and y variables here c is called a constant here one thing is clear all the either the coefficients are a constant that means a b c are belonging to set of real numbers and a comma b both are not equals to 0 here you see what will happen if a equals to 0 or if b is equal to 0 if both a and b equals to 0 what will happen these two terms will be absent at the time we get simply c is equal to 0 that won't be in the form of a linear equation in two variables so here i am writing one example 2x plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0 is the first degree equation because here the power is 1 so this is called a linear equation in two variables if we consider uh, some values some different values for x or y you may consider some different values for x on substituting x is equal to some 0 1 2 3 you may get different values for y in the same way if we are going to substitute some different values for y we may get different values for x also so solutions of the above equation are i have substituted like this when i substitute x is equal to 0 we get y equal to 2 when i substitute x is equal to 5 we get y equal to 1 so in the same way some different values we get not only these values you may substitute your own values we need not to consider uh, only the positive values why because here we are all we have already uh, told you a b c are belonging to set of real numbers means we may consider any irrational number or fractional form or whatever it is or if it is a negative value also so don't expect uh, always we may get a positive values so that is the case uh, these are my values you might have substitute some other values you may get some different values in the table form and even though of course here due to the lack of place i did not show on a graph by observing the above table that means uh, by substituting these values on a graph uh, we get a straight line by observing the above table linear equation in two variables has many solutions don't expect one solution two solutions three solutions or only limited number of solutions a linear equation in two variables sir, may have many solutions is it clear okay ma note down Okay, children. Let us see two questions, short answer questions uh, based on the above concept. There is a chance uh, such type of questions we may get in the examination point of view also. 
let us say first question draw the graph of x is equal to 3 and write the nature of roots we know how to draw the graph we know how to use graph sheet and how can we divide the graph paper into four quadrants by drawing x axis and y axis and by choosing uh, the suitable tabular form and we know how to represent the points on a graph sheet we know how to draw the straight lines or a smooth curve let us see the first question is draw the graph of x is equal to 3 and write the nature of the roots here I took scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit so I have taken a graph sheet and I choose some points on both positive x axis negative x axis positive y axis and y dash the point x is equal to 3 means 3 lies on the positive x axis here one thing is clear the coordinate of y must be 0 here let us suppose instead of x is equal to 3 suppose the question was asked like this draw the graph of y is equal to 7 where we have to represent that point on a graph either on x axis or on y axis y equal to 7 means it should be represented on positive y axis ok at that time we came to know the coordinate of x value becomes 0 here x is equal to 3 is given that means on x axis at 3 just mark a point that indicates 3 comma 0 that means here one thing is clear y coordinate must be 0 so mark a point at first on the graph sheet and through that point draw a straight line this line represents x is equal to 3 so try to have into it I know very well most of the students we are very good at drawing graphs but still those who are uh, uh, doing mistakes uh, let us try to convert your uh, uh, mistakes and don't repeat such type of mistakes here at the right side of the top of the corner don't forget to write a scale for each and every graph problem so here I am writing scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit diagram is over can we expect the solution is here has been completed no way because if you observe the question carefully we are asking to write the nature of the roots nature of the roots means from the graph what we observe the observations we are asking to write at the bottom of the graph paper nature see we, at first we represent a point 3 comma 0 on x axis through that point we draw a straight line so that line indicates x is equal to 3 now here nature means this line this line will be parallel to y axis yes sir now this x is equal to 3 line is parallel to y axis and it should be perpendicular to x axis here what will be the angle angle becomes 90 degrees so that's why we came to know the line x is equal to 3 is perpendicular to x axis as well as x is equal to 3 is said to be parallel to y axis here one more question is given draw the graph of l minus b minus 2 is equal to 0 here here you observe one thing here I did not write any tabular form why because the given question has been given under only one variable but here two variables are given both the length and breadth l minus b minus 2 is equal to 0 that means to prepare a tabular form we may choose some different values for length then we get some values for breadth or else we may choose some different values for breadth then we may get different values for length so for length l is equal to 0 i substitute so breadth value will be how much you know breadth value becomes a minus 2 l is equal to 4 we substitute b is equal to 2 we get here 
n within a brackets x i root b within a brackets y i root what does it mean means we consider all the values of length on x axis and all the values of breadth will be represented on the y axis that is the meaning of this indication here i don't have much place so that's why i have represented simply like this so scale is like the above problem on x axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit on and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit so let us substitute these two points first point is what 0 comma minus 2 so x value is 0 y value is minus 2 can we expect where this point is located on a graph either on x axis or on y axis Yes, it, 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 it represents on the uh, y-axis, but towards uh, a negative direction, zero comma minus. Two. That's why here we are representing the point. And next, four comma two, which lies on uh, the first quadrant. You see, x coordinate is four and y coordinate is two. So this four and two, where the both will be intersected, there you locate one point uh, on a graph there. That indicates four comma. After representing these two points, take a scale and draw a straight line. That straight line should pass through these two points, which we represented on a table of form. So that line indicates L minus B minus two is equal to zero. Do we understand how to draw the graphs for a short answer questions? Is it clear to all? Okay, ma. Not done. We will go through that next topic. Now, the next step, topic is general form of pair of linear equations in two variables. Actually, our chapter name is a pair of linear equations in two variables, not linear equations in two variables. That's why I wrote now clearly the name of the chapter: pair of linear equations in two variables. Now we are going to discuss about the, what are what is the general form of pair of linear equations in two variables. The general form of linear pair of linear equations in two variables as follows: a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to zero, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals to zero are the pair of two linear equations, where a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2 are the set of real numbers. Here, the condition is. A1 square plus B1 square will not be equal to zero, and A2 square plus B2 square also will not be equal to zero. The conditions. So, what is the general form of a pair of linear equations? A1 x plus B1 y plus C1 is equal to zero. A2 x plus B2 y plus C2 equals to zero. That means under two equations, we will have two different different variables and different coefficients also. Let us see one example for a pair of linear equations in two variables. X plus y is equal to 10. X minus y equal to 6. We know such type of questions we might have solved in our previous class also. Now the next one is methods for solving a pair of linear equations. There are three types of methods are there to solve a pair of linear equations. What are they? Substitution method. Second one is elimination method, and third one is graphical method. At last, that means uh, at the ending of the chapter, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, graph problems. So graph problems, uh, actually in our textbook it was given in the first exercise, but graphical method we will discuss in the at the last. So there are three types of methods uh, to solve a pair of linear equations. What are they? Substitution method. Elimination method. This is E, E L I M I, and E T I O M. Elimination method and graphical method. Okay, please note down this uh, part. Then we will discuss about the uh, substitution method and elimination method for today's uh, day one class. So note down this information. 
before going to do the problems. Okay, children. Let us see a problem by using substitution method. Here we are asking to solve two equations. What are they? x plus 2y equals to minus 1 and 2x minus 3y equals to 12. These two equations we are going to solve by using substitution method. Whenever the question is given, don't forget to write what the equations are given in the question. When we are writing a solution, at first you must write the, repeat the equations. The given equations are, as it is, you have to copy. Let it be a first equation and this is a second equation. Here I am doing from first equation I want to get one value, either x value or y value, that is your wish. Here what I am doing, actually the first equation is x plus 2y is equal to minus 1. This plus 2y will go to right hand side it becomes x is equal to minus 1 minus 2y. Is it correct or not? So that's why here I am writing from 1 x is equal to minus 1 minus 2y. So for this value I am giving one more equation that is for third equation. Now what we are going to do? Substitute third equation in second equation. Third equation means it is nothing but we are substituting the value of x in second equation. Second equation is what actually 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. That means 2 we don't want to disturb. 2 as it is we have to write. In place of x, suppose x is equal to 7 or 5 or something, we will write together, together uh, with uh, 2. But here the value of x is uh, some the combination of two different values that is minus 1 and uh, minus 2y. So that's why this step, the uh, continuation step I am writing like this. 2 into minus 1 minus 2y minus 3y is equal to 12. Let us multiply both of these two values uh, with outside uh, 2. 2 into minus 1 means what? Minus 2. 2 into minus 2 is what? Minus 4. We need not to multiply minus 3y with any number because minus 3y comes from the second equation as it is. Just here only, here only, in place of this x, we are substituting this value. And both of these two values are multiplied with the two table. 2 ones are minus 2, 2 twos are minus 4y. Minus 3y is as it is. Here you observe minus 2 will go to right hand side. What will happen? 12 minus 2 goes to right hand side, it becomes minus 2 plus 12 plus 2. Both are negative values. So, what is the value of minus 4y and minus 3y? Together we are writing means we have to combine both values minus 7y. So, minus 7y is equal to 12 plus 2 is what? 14. So, here what I am doing to get the value of y, the coefficient of y value is minus 7. So that's why minus 7y is equal to 14 is there. So to avoid this minus 7, what I am doing, divide minus 7 on both sides. If you do like that means what will happen, why I am doing division minus 7 on both the sides? Because of simply we get y value, minus 7, minus 7 will be cancelled. So 7 in 14 how many times cancel? 2 times cancel. So that is the case y is equal to minus 2. For example, instead of minus 7y, uh, some uh, uh, 5y is equal to 13 is there. What can we do? How can we remove 5? Undividing. Yes, undividing 5 both sides. For what purpose? To eliminate the coefficient of y. So y value becomes 13 by 5 in that case. So anyway, we get y is equal to minus 2. Now what I am doing here, 
substitute y is equal to minus 2 in any one of the equation either in first equation or in second second equation there is no compulsion to take a particular uh, equation that is your wish so let us substitute y is equal to minus 2 in first equation i have taken first equation so the first equation how it may change x as it is i am writing plus 2 also i don't want to change but in place of y what i would like to write minus 2 but when we get a negative value since the address is better you keep it within a brackets is equal to what that value what minus 1 only. so plus into minus minus 2 to sub 4 is equal to minus 1 so x minus 4 is equal to minus 1 now this minus 4 will go to right hand side means we know it, it changes its sign so now the combination becomes x is equal to minus 1 plus 4 so minus 1 plus 4 means the value is equal to what x value 3 therefore the solution set x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 here after uh, the completion of uh, doing solution uh, mostly uh, most of the students uh, they don't have confidence on their solution they will discuss with some other children so what is your answer what is your answer is it necessary to discuss? No need to discuss. Let us substitute what solution set you may get in any one of the given equation. If it satisfies, then that is the correct answer. You take any one of the equations. Which equation do you want to take here? First one or second one? Do you want to take second equation? Yes. Second equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. 2. What is the value of x? 3 minus 3 what is the value of y minus 2 is equal to what 12 2 3 is 6 minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6 is equal to 12 so 12 is equal to 12 8 satisfied that means your answer is correct you need not to discuss with anyone or you need not to uh, look at the back side of the textbook and uh, by verifying the solution set, whether my solution set is correct or wrong. Usually, do you have this habit or not? So, we need not to do like that. After getting the solution set, to get confirmation, let us substitute the solution set. That means both their x value and y value in any one of the equation and substitute those values. On both the sides, we get the same value. Our solution set is correct. Or else, you may check once where did you do the mistake is it clear to all so this is the substitution method please note down later we will discuss about the second method what we call elimination method note down this process ready children Go to our uh, second method that is elimination method. Here also we get two equations. What are they? Solve 8x plus 5y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. We are asking to solve these two equations. At first I told you to write the given equations or writing solution. The given equations are 8x plus 5y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. Let this is the first equation and this is the second equation. In the above condition, we found the, one, uh, the value of x. That x value we substitute in the second equation. We are not doing like that in this process. This is elimination process. That is the substitution method and this is elimination method. In this elimination method, we would like to equate any one of the uh, uh, coefficients should be equal that means either x coefficients may be equal or y coefficients may be equal here uh, what i wrote uh, to make y coefficients are equal that means for uh, what i am doing here to get y coefficients are equal here y coefficient is 5 here y coefficient is 2 the lcm of 5 and 2 is 10 they are product simply so here 10, here 10 is there, the, that becomes easy to solve the two equations. If we subtract or add, 
one uh, variable it won't be eliminated this is elimination process so that is the case uh, here to make y coefficients are equal so to get y coefficients are equal in both the cases here 5 is there here 2 is there very simple logic the first entire first equation i want to multiply with the two table here we need not to bother about the rest of the two we think about y coefficient here y coefficient becomes what a term term one in the same way the second equation if we multiply with five table five two is a term two five is a term two five is a term five two is a term so we get a term y term y will be common then it is very simple to remove the uh, same variables while doing elimination yes or no we need not to to make y coefficients are equal in in the uh, if you want to make uh, x coefficients are equal what will you think you think about uh, what are the coefficients of uh, x here here x coefficient is 8 here x coefficient is 3 what is the lcm of 8 and 3 We can find no. There is no common factor. So their product only their LCM. It is a 24. So here 24x, here 24x is there. That that, that becomes uh, very easy for to solve the equations. So that is the case. Uh, the entire first equation I want to multiply with the three table. Then here I will get 24x. In the same way, second equation if I multiply with the eighth table, here I will get 24x. Now 24x, 24x will be cancelled. Either way. that one or this one that is your wish we need not to follow what we taught in our class if you want you uh, make e equal coefficients for uh, x variables also so here i am doing why coefficients are equal so first equation if i multiply with the two table the first equation changes as 2 8 sir 16x 25 sir 10y 29 sir 18 that means all the terms uh, three terms should be multiplied with uh, that particular number in the same way the second equation i would like to multiply with five table that is the case 3x 2y and uh, 4 4 the three terms should be multiplied with the uh, five table 5 3 sir 15x uh, this is 15x 5 2 sir 10y 5 4 sir 20 So now these one and two equations uh, they change us uh, in different way. Now let it be the third equation and this is the fourth equation. I want to solve uh, third equation and uh, fourth equation. So what I am doing simply I want to subtract fourth equation from third equation. Why? Because uh, if we observe carefully here the coefficient of x is somewhat more than uh, this uh, coefficient x coefficient. So that's why third equation minus fourth equation. Or else you may do fourth equation minus third equation. That is your wish. You may get the same answer. You won't get the different value. So third equation is 16x plus 10y is equal to 18. Fourth fourth equation is 15x plus 10y is equal to 20. We know very well. While subtracting, the symbols of the second equation becomes changes. Actually, here we don't have any negative sign in the second equation. But when we are doing subtraction, the all uh, symbols for second equation will change. So it is minus 15x, and this is minus 10y, and this is minus 20. Plus 10y. Now here plus symbol you forget. Now this this becomes negative value. So this is minus 10y. Plus 10y minus 10y will be cancelled. 16x minus 15x means only one x will be left. 18 minus 20 means we know minus 2, so we get one variable value x is equal to minus 2. On substituting x is equal to minus 2 in any one of the equation, either first equation or second equation. Here I took second equation. In second equation, x is equal to minus 2 I substitute. 3 into x value minus 2 plus 2y is equal to 4. 3 into minus 2 means minus 6 plus 2y is equal to 4. Minus six will goes to right hand side means uh, it becomes plus four plus six means ten. So what will be the value of y? Ten divided by two. Ten divided by two means uh, five. Therefore, the solution set is x is equal to minus two and y is equal to five. Here also we need not to go through the extra book index. Uh, that means uh, the last whether the solution is correct or wrong, or uh, is it necessary to discuss with someone? No need, no. You know, 
on substituting this uh, solution in any one of the equation, if it satisfies the given condition, no doubt that becomes the correct solution. So this is called elimination method. Is there any doubts to anyone? No doubt? Okay, note down the solution. Okay, children, now today's class we discuss about uh, a linear equation in two variables and based on a linear equation. I did not say a pair of linear equations. Uh, of course, our chapter name is a pair of linear equations. So, a linear equation, definition we have seen based on that uh, two graphical sums also we did. And uh, what is the general form of uh, a pair of linear equations we have seen? How to solve the pair of uh, linear equations in two variables? There are three particular methods I told you. First one is uh, substitution method, second one is elimination method, and th third one is graphical method. Of course, we did not discuss about graphical method, we discussed today until substitution method and uh, elimination method. So, based on our today's uh, day one topic uh, and giving some homework, please note down this particular homework. Let us see the first question. Draw the graph of y is equal to minus 2 and write the nature of the line from the graph. So, we have to draw, I, uh, already we have seen in our uh, today's class, uh, we have completed one uh, graph for x is equal to 3. So, in the same way, I am giving a homework for you to draw a line for y is equal to minus 2. Here, I am giving pair of linear equations that is 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 1 and x minus y equals to minus 1. We have to solve these two pair of linear equations by using a substitution method. And finally, the third question is solve 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. We need not to confuse about second one and third one. In second condition, the constant terms it was given already under RHS. So here let us convert minus 5 into right side, it becomes plus 5. That means how the first equation will change as 3x plus y equal to 5. How the second equation will change as 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So like that you convert. Then like above, in which way we did, like that you do the solution. So here this pair of two linear equations uh, we are asking to solve by using elimination method. Hope will you do this homework. Thank you. Let us note down the homework. Have a nice day to all.